Welcome to Go News presents an interesting fact in the history of black gun owners. I'm Shamichael with Guns Out TV. And before we get started, guys, we, you know, we got to do a little homework around here first. So please make sure you like the video, drop some of those comments, share it with as many people as possible, and also subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell to get updates on all of our latest videos to so make sure you don't miss anything. So the history of black Americans and firearms is undoubtedly an interesting one. For a significant portion of our country, races did everything they could to exclude black Americans from owning guns. Why? Because, well, they knew with the ability to defend oneself came the ability to fight for freedom. Fast forward to present day and black Americans are the fastest growing group of new gun owners in the country for the first time in recorded history which is why we've decided to do our part in sharing the fascinating history of black Americans and firearms. The willingness to engage in armed self-defense played an important and vital role in the Southern Freedom Movement. And without it, to be quite frank, the movement may not have been as successful. Armed self-defense gave a means for black people to confront the violence against them. And while most black Americans believed in the nonviolence as preached by the late Dr. King, the firearm was a necessary line of defense for black Americans to protect themselves and also preserve the integrity of the movement. Now, have you guys ever heard of John R. Hunter Bear Salter? You probably haven't and neither did I before doing this research. But in an exhaustive interview a few years before his death, Mr. Salter stated, quote, I'm alive today because of the Second Amendment and the natural right to keep and bear arms. Mr. Salter was a professor at the historically black college, Tougaloo Southern Christian College, which is located in Mississippi. And he was also an advisor to students who were nonviolently sitting in segregated lunch counters and other public facilities in downtown Jackson. He went on to say that he always traveled armed no matter where he went and the knowledge that he had those weapons and that he was willing to use them kept his enemies at bay and the knowledge that guns would be used to defend his Tougaloo campus was well known and it also prevented many individuals who wanted to bring assaults against the campus as it was known as a launching pad for the civil rights movement to somewhat step away or to at least second guess bringing assaults against the students and faculty on the campus. Thanks for watching and this is an interesting fact in the history of black gun owners. I'm sure Michael and make sure you like, share and leave your comments and let us know what you think about Mr. Salter and the fact that guns have always played a vital part in protecting and preserving the freedoms of African Americans. And remember, this is a right that was often and frequently taken away from African Americans. And so to see so many black people today exercising that right to keep and bear arms is a beautiful thing because it was a right that was often taken away or refused by many black people in the past. Thanks for watching.